Hola Aries Sun Leo Moons, this is your 2019 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider personal reading, rates, info, email, or below. Just send me an email and we can make that happen. When you view it is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. I'm doing them in the order of requests in the comments, so post yours up. Sorry it's taking me a while, but I am doing 144 readings. That is very time consuming. Um, first portion of this reading, I will read the textbook definition of your Sun Moon sign. So refer to the source I credited below. I'll then lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2019. The second portion of this will be the link below to the Vimeo reading where I will have a deeper interpretation of the cards and additional clarifiers. I'll divide the year up into four separate quadrants. Other things to mention, I am on the Instinko app if you need a quick answer to a quick question. Uh, social media, I'm on Facebook and I'm on Insta. So if you would like to follow me, message me, like me, what have you, I'll post my weeklies up there too. Also check out playlists for 2018 readings readings to see if they rang true for you and my compatibility readings I'll be working on throughout the year. Okay? So Aries Sun, Leo Moons, the combination of your sun sign and your moon sign produces a personality that blends the Aries drive for success with the warmth, nobility, and balance of Leo. People respond to you naturally because of, because, wait, because you are an interesting, active, adventurous, and exciting person. You pursue your ideals with great energy, excitement, and a sense of adventure and boundless enthusiasm. You love people and they respond to you in a very positive way to your magnetic personality. Self-image is all important to you and you have a natural faith in yourself and probably a total confidence in your abilities. You respect yourself to a high degree and see yourself as a natural born leader. You need to achieve re wait. You need to achieve to reinforce this wonderful sense of worth and to maintain a rightful position of leadership and popularity. Success may come because you can come up with good ideas, but more often it's because those above you and those below you both like you a lot or are willing to listen and follow you. You don't hesitate to tell people that you need them because in your open and honest way, you're confident that they will respond to you and back your cause. You have a warm heart and affectionate nature because of a harmonious blending of individuality and personality. Thinking and feeling are very much in tune. You have a talent for clear vision or for visualizing your goal or objective, concentrating on these goals and objectives and attaining them. So let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit Angels, what do you see January, February, March for Aries, Sun, Leo, Moons, 2019? You all have the King of Cups in the upright. What do you see for April, May, June? Aries, Sun, Leo, Moons, the Ten of Cups in reversed. What do you see for July, August, September? We have the Hermit card in the upright. Oh boy. And then what do you see October, November, December for Aries, Sun, Leo, Moons? I see the Emperor reversed. <sighs> Alright guys, so this is leaning towards a love reading, I'm not going to lie, okay? It, it, for, I think, a percentage of you. But So at the beginning of the year, you're going to meet somebody, um, somebody who you think is ideal or what have you. This King of Cups is somebody who's very much in control of their emotions. They're very empathetic. There's somebody that's considered an ideal partner, okay? So that's the beginning of the year. We move into April, May, June. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. So there's trouble in paradise, okay? Um, things are going on in the home, um, arguments, things are going on with the family. Um, maybe somebody's feeling neglected or suddenly you have misaligned values with somebody, okay? Now, I'm trying to see if this could be, a, and, and it could be a business. I mean, I could see a career thing where, you know, you have a boss like this, someone not very good with money, um, somebody who's a mediator, and then, you know, things start to fall apart. You guys aren't in sync anymore. This could be a colleague. Um, so I could see that, but it is leading more towards a, a relationship reading. As you move into July, August, September, we have the Hermit card in reverse, which is a card of Virgo, if that resonates. This is a card of pretty much being single, being alone, um, using the time to kind of soul search, figure out what you want. It's a time for um, creating space for yourself and then um, reevaluating yourself and, and figuring this out. And I think you're actually reflecting on this situation that happened here, why it happened. But we have the Emperor reversed here for you guys for October, November, December. So I kind of feel like whatever happened here, I don't feel like you guys are dealing with it very well here. And this is the card of Aries, which happens to be your son. Um, but to me, I feel like you guys are having really bitter feelings, um, really strong feelings. Um, 
feeling like you wanted things to go a certain way and they did not go the way they wanted to. So, you know, you're upset about that and you're feeling very strongly about that. And maybe you're having some resentment in regards to that. And you could be acting out also in, in different ways. Now, it's not you. It could definitely be some kind of tyrant or some sort in your life, okay? Um, or someone that's just tyrannical that you're dealing with at the end of the year. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pull clarifiers if you click on the Vimeo link below and we'll figure out who these characters are and what's going on and tighten it up a little bit. I might get a, a better understanding on if it's love or it's business or it's family or what have you, okay? So click off the link below. It'll take you where you need to go. Otherwise, guys, best of luck in 2019. Adios.